second episode of the day and on this particular episode we are talking about one pastor this one here uh, the pastor was on the pulpit i don't know if he had just finished preaching you know he was maybe calling for worship my sister came there so they say that the sister came and we looked the other side <laughs> so the the sister came up and while the sister is on the pulpit uh, doing the worship song that she's supposed to be singing, she's a musician. The pastor got carried away. Uh, he forgot that he was in public and there were cameras. He's the one who commissioned the cameras. Yeah, we can move you. <laughs> we can move over for him. So he's the one who commissioned the cameras. You wanted cameras there. Cameras spotted the pastor's eye. Otherwise, swindling around, maraganawing itself in places where it should not be. The pastor's eyes were hovering upon the other sides of the lady. So this video is going a bit viral right now with the pastor being, you know, being the center to say, hey, pastor, uh, what did happen? What happened there when you said... So I'm going to give you two, particulars, two particular points to add to all the subjects that are being heard out there. Okay? Yes, we acknowledge that men, uh, pastors are humans. Mm -hmm. Definitely. But there's something that I want to highlight here is that if a person gets themselves used to reacting a certain way when they see certain things, this is what happens. That even when you are now a pastor, uh, you see, those reactions are still there, embedded within the body. Mm. Your memory, your memory brings back your, 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 your normal reaction or how you would normally react. It doesn't mean that the pastor is devious. Mm -mm, mm -mm. It just means the pastor has allowed the behavior of always focused <laughs> see things. <laughs> so the pastor has gotten that condition into himself, not a spirit. You don't need casting, you don't need deliverance. No, it is a behavior. You have allowed yourself to get used to that behavior. That's point number one. Number two, and this is where the charlatans are. So pastor, if you are a charlatan, listen to me. The biggest mistake you can make right now, now that we have noticed that, you see, you send her that video, that particular lady who was singing there. You send her this video as if, you know, you got caught, you know, you know, I was just... <laughs> this is if you are a charlatan. If you are a charlatan, this is what you are going to do. You will now start sending this video to start a conversation in interest of otherwise. Now... Watch out for that one because that's where charlatans reside there. That's the charlatan WhatsApp group. It waits for certain things to... You, you understand? So this might not deter the past if he's a charlatan. If he's a charlatan, yes, it won't deter him. What it will do, it will encourage him. It will motivate. Why? The behavior is embedded. Now, I'm not even talking about, hey, some of these pastors, they use sex for rituals. You know, that's what a lot of people might actually come out and actually speak about. Uh, I'm not talking about that. I know nothing about that. On this particular tone, what I'm talking about is behavioral. Where you get yourself used to something, to a point where even when you are now converted, your senses are still there. A lot of times, this is what uh, one of my mentors used to mention, is that we love the Lord our God as we choose. Okay, We choose to follow God. But then... And on top of choosing, we are not uh, saying that God has not made grace available for us to believe. No, no, no. Please don't go there. Hey, you know some people are just radicals for everything. <laughs> so we just have to put it there. Relax, my friend. We are talking. So it's, it's that when we come to salvation, those things that we were in the past embedded within our nature, it's still there. So now we need to go through a process. We call it sanctification. This is not a part of salvation. This part is addresses the changing aspects of a believer. Capable to change. Are you capable to change? Are you capable of moving past all this behavior? What? Eh? Mm. Are you capable? Now someone might say, okay, but this person is not capable of instructing me in growth. He might but the same way Paul says that uh, that I, after preaching to others, might not I myself lose. You understand? This is what he means. Is that when I have 
thinking, I better not lose my plot. So note these things that you drag from past back then. And when you now drag them to, to, to the front now, what happens is that you start to behave the same way when you are now standing on the pulpit. Change, that's where change is. So don't just preach as if you are, you, you are immune. We see you. <laughs> we see you. When you preach, include yourself. And some of them say, that's why they think they can do the deliverance, supposedly, as they claim. Mm, it is you that needs deliverance. Oh, my brother, we were delivered. We were all delivered. What we now need is a change of behavior, not to think like the world, not to contain all those behaviors that we had, and we go through that process of sanctification where Christ takes over. Okay? So a lot of people that don't understand what sanctification implies or discipleship, this is where it applies. You were this back then, now become this as you go forward. So it's important we, we bring it back to context, you understand? Yes, the pastor got carried away because the pastor is not monitoring himself as he now grows out of the past, which is when he was not saved. He says, you who were dead. This is the Bible. When he's speaking about people who are now saved, he says, you who were dead in your sins. So meaning when you got carried away and you stayed there, now we don't stay there, okay? We might get, you know, reminded. We are reminded. But what happens is that we must constantly be shifting our perspective towards the Messiah. The goal is the Messiah. The goal is Christ-likeness, -like okay? If I may put it so. It's not that the pastor is demonic. No, it just means the pastor needs to see himself in the behavior and walk himself out of it in the reality. Show with the daily Christian commentary videos. Wanted to bring it back into context cont to to what cont cont context. <laughs> so that we can we can have a proper Christian mindset about these things. Yeah, the world speaks about it the way they speak about it. We speak about it how biblically it should be represented. Yeah, you pastor with your nice suit. You are not different. Yes, you have those things. That's a, but the Bible talks about the sin that so easily besets us. He didn't say the sin that so easily besets you. <laughs> he said the sin that so easily besets us, all of us. We are affected by something, somewhere, somehow. So if we know that, we know where our discipleship leads us in Christ. It's Ricky. Other episodes done today. Down in the pink comments and I'll see you on a later on. Yeah, be blessed. Subscribe to the channel. If you like this kind of commentary, we do this on a daily basis. If you like this kind of commentary, and I'll see you later. Salut.